Hey guys, we are back in Grey Matter, uh, picking up where we left off. We need to find a cell phone. Uh, I think our best bet might be to talk to the woman in the kitchen, because she mentioned something about that. I'm kind of curious if... Yep. I have a problem. Dr. Stiles asked me to leave my cell phone number with you, but I don't have one. Oh, take mine. My sister's the only one who ever calls me on it, and she's on holiday. Are you sure? Thank you. I had one, but there was this incident with a ground squirrel. Ugly. They can be nasty <laughs> blighters, can't they? Okay, so... What is this? There was something just flashing up here. Aha! You now have access to Oxford. The map lets you visit the locations. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Either M or, um... Your locations have white blinking outline. Got it. So, Oxford Town Center and Dread Hill House. What a lovely, inviting name that is. Uh, so... Hmm. Well, before we go anywhere else... I'm curious about one last thing. So, since we're officially moving in... Up the stairs... Into our room. So that's kind of cool. The, you know, she can just kind of integrate herself in there. Right, there's a silly rabbit. Can't remember if there was anything else in the backpack we needed. Like, didn't she have some kind of a note thing or something? I don't recall. No, just the towel. A letter what from is the this? foster care department back in D.C. I don't need to take it. Yeah. Well, we can actually pick this up now. We taking them with us? Oh, I see. I guess she's actually moving in now. There. Now it's practically home, isn't it? Mom and Dad. It's the only picture I have with me. Well, all right then. So, now I can hit M, hit M, and... Well, actually, is there anything else we can do in the house? No, I pretty much just have to go and get... people to murder. So, this is Oxford. Not bad. Well, I assume murder. I have no idea if it's actually I need murder. to line up those students for the experiment. But while I'm here, I really want to snoop around. See if I can find any reference to the Daedalus Club here in Oxford. So I wonder what's up with this club that she wants to go to. Uh, we are zoomed way out. Uh, so where do we want to go? Got a phone booth. What do we can do with the phone booth. That's an exit. Queen Street. Coat of arms. Run across the street. Go faster. You can do it! Perfect. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um... Anybody remember which thing we supposedly went to? Boy, I don't remember. Um... Each college has its own coat of arms. Classy. That's cute. Okay, uh, this one... Phone booth. I do love that you can run across things to make this quicker. That's pretty handy. I don't need to use the phone booth right now. No, probably not. Hey, it's a person. Hi, person. That's something you don't see every day. Uh... Let's head down to the street first. here black wand what is that a magic shop cool a magic shop ha I guessed correctly in we go oh I want the outfit 
Oh, places like this are kind of creepy. Hey, it's Houdini. Just not with white ears. He doesn't look like Harry Houdini. <laughs> he doesn't look like... I guess not. I like how the cards... Wait. See it with the bunny? Look. It's a bunny. He doesn't look... It, it's... It's a sign. Game machine. Well, there's lots of stuff to play with in here. You must be 21. You must be 21. Yeah, I got that covered. Can we push this the button? This deserves a careful approach. I should see what the owner can tell me about it first. Oh, be adventurous, damn it. Okay, what else we got? Oh, I just noticed that like her hair is casting shadow. That's weird. Okay, uh, anything else? <laughs> we got handcuffs and swords and crystal balls. All right. Eye color changing mask. Your eye color change without any kind of glass. What do we got here? Solid water. From liquid to solid state when salt is added. The contents added. of this file will switch from liquid to solid state when salt is added. That's cool. A little switch on the back of the box allows you to control whether the devil pops out or not. Not as cool. It makes your eye color change without any kind of glass. That's cool. The contents of this file will switch from liquid to solid state when salt is added. Well, more of that, huh? Your genuine private life violator. <laughs> Telephone spy. I like it. Classic magnet. Okay. The bread and butter. Special deck of cards. Okay. The money put into the coin slot disappears in a hidden compartment. Don't forget to give the money back afterwards. Oh, well, I don't want to do that. Yeah, Useful adhesive to fix wigs, beards, and other costume prosthetics. Spirit gum. Okay. This discrete device will play the associated sound when pressing the button on its remote controller. This discrete device will play Cry the associated help, sound maker. when... <laughs> I can see a lot of that stuff being useful. Like, further into the story or something, you can come back here and buy and use some of that stuff to get away with things. Could be kind of cool. Um, this deserves a care. I want to push the buttons. Logo. It's the Deedless Club logo. Is it? Mm. Is that really wise? I wonder. Hi. This is a Deedless Club puzzle box, isn't it? Is it? My my, what a mystery. Uh oh. Can I be of assistance, young lady? I hope so. Dude's name looked complicated. That Tell me about is the club. a Deedless Club puzzle box, isn't it? I recognize the club logo. Do you? And what would an American like you know about the Deedless Club? I've been in Europe for almost two years now. I know a lot of street magicians on the continent. Ah, I thought you had the look. Watch carefully. Where's the ball? Up your bum. <laughs> Where's the ball? Very nice, my dear. I was gonna say, where my did he just grab that Mephistopheles. from? And who Mephistopheles. are you? Samantha Everett. Sam. But my stage name is Lady Byron. Nope. Never heard of you. Aww. Well, I haven't been in England long. Tell me more about so this about club. So about the Daedalus Club. I know they have a dinner club in London. Are they here in Oxford, too? Do they run this shop? As in the Roman times, we are merely a lowly outpost, and not the thing itself. I heard they run public games, riddles, and scavenger hunts. That kind of thing. Is that what the box is? A public game? They might put those in any friendly establishment. They might. Tell me more. You're curious to know what I know about the Daedalus Club. Oh, very. Will you indulge an old man? I worked with the Great Scarpelli in Rome last summer. He told me a lot. The Great Scarpelli? 
red-haired, garlic-breathed old con man who favors chickens in his act. That's him. He's very talented, you know. Oh, I know. He said it's the most secret club for magicians and illusionists on Earth. All the great masters belong to it. Do they? And what other morsels did he divulge? To become a member, you have to pull off a grand game, like a major public illusion or legendary con. He's worked on one for several years, but hasn't perfected it yet. Ah, uh, a common fate, I'm afraid. But one must always start somewhere, Miss Everett. And a good place might be that box. Yes, I believe you're right. Thank you. I get to play with the box? Can I play with the box now? Okay. Hmm. You must be 21. It could be... 21. That did it. Hooray! This is a Daedalus Club riddle. My first one. Okay. The betrayer's price. Five pieces of gold. And the scholar's heart. Where? High above high and reigning over queen. Find the room with the view. The some word I'm not even gonna attempt. Then fire, water, earth, wind. And the fifth is at the end. Their souls choose their fate. All together they point to a place. There the name. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Sold his soul for thirty. This is a deedless club. Church. Let's ask him about it. The riddle says something about the scholar's heart. Is that a particular part of Oxford? I'm not familiar with the city. Hmm. I would take that to mean the heart of the university, which is where you are right now. But I wouldn't depend on my help if I were you. I'm a miser with it, for one thing. And if you got aid, how would you know if you were worthy of the game? And the game of you. I didn't. Right. Never mind. Okay, how about winning the game? What happens if I win the game? What happens? Only one way to find out. Hmm. Okay. Stuff. Triggering the invisible wires coming with the device will trigger the flash powder and cast a bright flash of light. Neat. Break and repair this magic wand in the blink of an eye. Makes your eye color change. Yeah, we've been over that one. The bread and butter. The only thing that differentiates this fake blood from real blood is the fact that it's easier to wash out. Huh. Disappearing ink. Any text written with this ink will disappear within a few minutes. Oh, that could be kind of fun. While looking perfectly normal, these gloves will make any object stick to their surface. The sides of this cube can be swapped by pressing a button to match your prediction. All of these things are cheating. Okay, so is there anything else I can do here? It's not looking like it. He doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Oh, now I get it. It looks like a younger Mephistopheles. Is that a joke? Or is Mephistopheles more famous than I thought? Or more conceited? Yeah, that I'm not sure. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can actually do in here. So if I leave, yeah, he's not even going to stop me. Queen Street? Let's go back out this way. Got all sorts of things to look at that I didn't see before. Queen and High Streets. The riddle says, "High above high, and reigning over queen." So reigning over the Queen Maybe Street. Maybe the spot I'm looking for is around here. How about up in this tower? Because that would be high up. This landmark is one of the oldest in Oxford. 
It was built in the 12th century as a lookout this important crossroads. The name comes from the Latin word quadrificus, meaning four ways. Can we go into the tower? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, neat. All right. There's like writing and stuff up here, too. Pretty nice view up here. Yeah. Okay. Pretty nice view up here. Okay. So, Pretty nice view. I try to click the panorama, but it doesn't work. All she keeps saying is pretty nice view up here. Pretty nice view up Yeah, that's about all she's got for me. Pretty nice view, huh? Yeah, I, I can totally go with that, but we need more than that, you see. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can interact with that isn't pretty nice view up here is the door, so let's go ahead and close the door and see what happens. There's a box. Why, hello. What are you? There's a little box attached to the wall. Creepy. The box has a Deedless Club logo. I need to... Wait, what'd she say? I accidentally clicked. Looks like the bottom might come off. But how? Maybe it has something to do with those vents. Can I click it? No, I need a... This. That's not right. Okay, that's not right. <laughs> the, I thought maybe using the knife would kind of, you know. The Deedless Club London. I will get there, one way or another. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let's try this. Fire! It worked! Ah! It's a piece of gold. And the second paper looks like a coat of arms. Maybe it's a clue to the next location. Okay. This could be good. Right, get me out of here. Uh, can I look at the items in my inventory? It's my new assistant envelope. Okay, no, that's that. I, I don't need to look at that. I do want to look at this This represents one of the colleges. But which one? Well, now we can go down and look at the, um... The thingy. And what's this? It's a piece of gold for the betrayer's price. According to the riddle, there are four more hidden somewhere around Oxford. Ah. And the piece around my holding down left mouse button, right click on the piece to rotate it. Well, obviously that goes like that. But that's the phone booth. We know where that's at. So let's head back down. Let's go take a look at the plaque that has all the seals on it. And see if we can compare it to whatever that letter is. That'll give me a clue as to where to go next. This is getting fun now. Sprint. Okay. Uh, da, 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 one that looks like a little cross in it. Yeah, but it has more color in it than this one. That doesn't match. No, I didn't think so. That's it. Christchurch College. Okay. So now that each we... college has a so now that we know that, now what do we do? Where do we go with it? Queen Street? So like, I, I found what I was supposed to, but... Actually... Does my map give me any options? Christchurch. Nice. And naked people on... It's a naked thumbs. guy with wings on his hat. I think it's a statue of Mercury, the Roman messenger. Ooh, there's a box. Black box. Nice. All right, this is getting kind of cool now. 
I forgot to double click to make her waddle a little faster. Swing those hips just a little bit quicker. There's something here. Okay. Look at that. It's definitely a Daedalus club box. It has their logo, but how do I open it? Um... Litmus paper. That paper on the top. It must be related to the opening mechanism. There's no problem finding water around here, if I need it. You do need it. That won't work. Because litmus paper responds to... Water from the fountain. <laughs> Apparently I have a drop of water in my hand. It Damn. worked! Nice. Okay. That must be a clue to the next location. It has the Christchurch coat of arms in it, so it must be around here somewhere. Well, that looks like a pretty that flower. That must be a... I forgot what kind of flower, but... Oh. It's another piece of the ideogram. Yes. This is fun. I like this now. Okay. I still need to find a few more of the... Ta-da! All right, so we need two more pieces. So, what do we learn from that one? There's like a flower. I get, my brain is a little gone as to what type of flower that may have been. But let's see. I mean, that might just be enough to be... Is there somewhere else to go? Gardens. That would be enough. See? Gardens on the sign. I think that would be enough. You know, flowers. So it wasn't a specific flower of any type. There's a sword here. I hope that has relevance. Flower bed. I guess I better look around more closely. Oh, jeez. Um... Looks like normal plant stuff to me. Nothing unusual. Holy crap. Um, flowers. Is there another place to do that? What's that? No, 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 no. There's no. a big meadow out that way. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the sun. I don't see anything suspicious. Nah, this looks pretty okay too. Nothing really stands out. So then we got one last flower bed down here, so this one's gotta be it. Unless this was purple flowers. Nah, this looks suspicious. Nothing unusual. Hmm. Looks like that dirt has been freshly dug. Yep, okay. Hey, there's a little flag in it even. That flag has the Daedalus Club logo on it. And somebody went through some serious trouble to do this. I think there's something down there. Oh, well, let's get it out of there. It's a piece of the ideogram and a beer coaster. The beer coaster must be a clue to the next location. Tell me about the beer coaster. Right, Acme beer. This has to be a clue to the next location. I guess it means I'm looking for a pub, but which one? Well, let's go ahead and look at I this. I still need to find a few more. Bam. Oh yeah. Look at that. We're getting there. Okay, so we need to... Where's a pub? Probably not here. Probably back at the Oxford Center. And we have not gone down this street yet. Wait, 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 wait. Red Lion. What are you? No, that's just going to take me down the street again. Alright, never mind. We're going this way. Run, girly! There we go. Perfect. 
Uh, what is this? It's college. Interesting outfit. Something tells me he's not just hanging out there for his health. Alice's shop? Pretty sure that's not going to be the pub. An Alice in Wonderland gift shop? Not really my thing. <laughs> okay. Okay, this all goes in one loop. Hmm. St. Bernard looking looks for a sad. Pub, and Windy Dog does go with the theme of the riddle. I've already done fire, water, and earth, so wind would be next, but they're closed. I may have to finish this riddle tomorrow. No, I don't want to finish the riddle tomorrow. I want to finish it now. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I'm stuck on a guy. Dude, move. Move. Excuse me. An Alice in Wonderland. Okay, no. Alice in Wonderland. Hmm. This stupid thing has to be closed. Well, so what do I do? Do I go back to the, my town, or where I'm staying? All of that that we just spent time doing, we still didn't find any test subjects. <laughs> uh, actually, let's go back this way. These, these were the only people I've seen that I can talk to back here. Maybe I can convince a couple of them. Excuse me, human sacrifice. Um, yeah, we'll take this girl. The dude doesn't want to be talked to, apparently. Hello, miss. You won't want to miss this. Easy money for a few hours of rest and relaxation. I can sign you up right now. Sounds Dr. Good. Stiles, are you insane? Well, this might be harder than I thought. Apparently people know who Dr. Stiles is. I definitely want nothing to do with it. Hey, you're losing a paper. What? Take a look. If you're free tonight, it's just an easy few hours for 15 pounds. Every student needs money, right? This is like taking candy from a baby, my friend. What <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you snorting? Oh, oh, this is great. <laughs> Brilliant. What do you mean? Oh, th this is a joke, right? Styles? Experiment? No, it's 15 pounds. What's so funny about that? Ah, you're serious. I guess it takes a freak to work for a freak. Good day. Whoa! Hey, get back Great. here! It appears I'm working for Dracula. Nice. Huh. I am honestly not sure what you do about that. Guess nobody wants to uh, participate. What is it? Chance of a lifetime, or, at the very least, the most fun you've ever had in a straitjacket. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little neurobiology humor there. <laughs> Not bloody likely. Look, you won't find anyone stupid enough to do an experiment with styles, I guarantee it. Okay, so clearly the dude's got a rep. Oh yeah? There's gotta be somebody stupid enough in Oxford. Or maybe not. Well, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Sorry, Houdini. I tried. Uh, well, I guess that means that she's got to leave, but you know that's not how this is going to go down. And she just picked up what? First year student orientation party at St. Edmund's Quad. It's today. Freshman. <laughs> Freshman. Fresh meat. <laughs> okay. So since I don't know where that is... Hey, a new location on the map. That's kind of handy. <laughs> Freshman orientation, blah, blah, blah. Oh, come on. What do you want, blood? I told you I'd delete your scene. And I'm supposed to trust you. Please, I'm whining now. I'm whimpering. You're killing me here. What? Maybe you'll think twice next time. I've nothing more to say to you. Wait, what just happened there? I want to hear her side of the story. If I have to pick a side, the boy looks like the easier mark. I should try <laughs> him first. All right, then. 
Harvey Kinderman. Hey, hi. Sorry to bother you, but I overheard your accent. You're an American? Yeah. Me too. I'm Sam from DC. I'm Harv, Harvey Kinderman, the Big Apple. You don't look American, you know. Maybe French? What? Oh, come on. There are a lot of people like me in New York. I guess. Those French are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you still have your sense of humor. I noticed you were fighting with your girlfriend. Girlfriend? President of the Lynch Harvey Kinderman Club is more like it. You haven't been here long enough to get into trouble, have you? Are you kidding? I can get people to hate me in under 10 seconds flat. That girl, for instance, Lisa, she loathes me to the point of breaking into my room and deleting my latest film from my computer. And she took the only hard copy I had, a Kinderman masterpiece. Gone. And I've known her less than two weeks. I'm telling you, it's a I wonder what was on that video. Why would Lisa do something like that? No reason on God's earth. Yeah, he's not telling the truth. She's in the film, right? What'd you get her doing? Well, it was uh, a commode soliloquy. Artistic truth, man. I mean, the film's about superficiality and how we're all really just flesh and blood underneath all the glamour. I'll buy that, but I wouldn't if I were Lisa. She didn't. She's pretty much being a major B on toast. <laughs> nice. Uh. Say, I bet you could use some extra cash. You know, for film or production costs or whatever. What's the catch? My prof has this little experiment going on tonight. It's, um, a neurobiology thing. Easy as pie, and it pays 15 pounds for just a few hours of work. Boy, have you got the wrong guy. I won't even go to the dentist. And the last time I had blood drawn, they had to call in the National Guard. I don't want anything to do with needles. Anything needle-like. Or anything that involves putting anything small and shiny anywhere close to my skin. Even jewelry makes me nervous. Yet he's wearing a watch. Yeah, this is totally not working out. What are you studying, Hart? Technically? Well, technically, I'm in the international law program. But not really? No, I am. It's just, you know how you can get splinters under your nail and it bleeds and stuff under there and it hurts so bad you just want to hit something? Law is kind of like that for me. And you're studying it. Why? My dad. He has this high hopes thing. Talk about guilt. But hey, it's fine. I'm in England and I wanted a chance to check out British filmmakers, so it works. Mostly. Geez, suck it up and tell him, Harv. It's your life. Yeah, thanks. I'll get right on that. Yeah, Harv. Does Lisa have your movie with her? Yeah, it's in that Godzilla purse of hers. I would have kicked her shins and run with it, but then she'd have to hurt me. Is it on DVD? A Super 8, why? Do you have a spare Super 8 film cartridge with you? Uh, yeah. Again, why? Just weigh my options. <laughs> you have options? Wow, can I have some? I'm fresh out. All right. How badly do you want that movie back, Kinderman? You shouldn't call me by my last name. It uh, turns me on. Listen, if you do this experiment for me tonight, I'll get your cartridge back. What is this, torture Harvey Day? <laughs> do I get my choice of the guillotine or the rope? Is that it? Stop being a wuss. This thing tonight isn't gonna hurt or anything. Besides, I thought your film was Orwellian. Do you want to be talking about it at the age of 50 in the actor studio as your lost masterpiece? Sheesh, turn the screws. All right, all right. But what are you planning to do? Trust me, she won't feel a thing. Give me the spare cartridge. This ought to be interesting. Sleight of hand. Okay. Yeah, I can take her down, no problem. But first, I need to pick the right trick. Ah. Wow, Sam's magic book contains basic tricks that may come in handy. Right click on the page to turn it. Sam decides to perform a trick. Pick one by left clicking. Okay. Probably not that. The destroyed, restored ring, locked room. Oh, this is, oh, I, I don't have that many options. Can I not turn the page again? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. There it goes. Conquer. Try to restore the newspaper. Up in smoke. Huh. I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, we've run on long enough. Uh, we'll be back on the next video where I'll likely pick one of these things and see what happens. So I thank you for watching. I hope you tune in next time.